Most of you probably know that Dark Souls has two endings. Link in the fire and becoming another cog in the wheel. Or leaving the kiln of the first flame and becoming a chat Dark Lord. Lore aside, there is one very interesting mechanical difference between the two endings. To link the fire, an input must be performed in order to interact with the bonfire and trigger the final cutscene. The Dark Lord ending simply requires you to leave the boundary of the arena, there is no need to perform anything else. This makes it possible to trigger the Dark Lord ending with the menu being open, and if the menu can be open, so can the quit out prompt. Quitting out as the Dark Lord cutscene begins and then returning back to the game returns the chosen undead to the arena. The reason this is interesting, however, is because FromSoft tied incrementing the New Game Plus counter with an ending being triggered, not with the credits playing. So while it might seem like nothing happened during the quit out earlier, the debug menu reveals we went from New Game to New Game Plus. This action can be repeated as many times as desired, allowing us to go from one New Game playthrough all the way up to New Game Plus 6 or New Game Infinity and beyond, whatever. That could be helpful for setting up high New Game Plus challenge runs or something, I don't know. Just thought it was a really interesting little detail. What's even more interesting to me is that in the remaster, QLOC, its developers, actually fixed this. As you can see here, the clear count variable doesn't change with the ending cutscene playing, only with the credits. Do with the knowledge what you will. I am but a humble messenger. Thank you for watching and have a great day.